Howdy. This is our um, next episode. So uh, we just wanted to catch you up on where we've been. So the last episode we left you, we were in Hope Town. Yes. And we had some serious FOMO. We had is... to do it. Fear of missing out. And we yeah. had to go to <laughs> Wave Rock. Which was pretty good. So we drove the two hours um, to Wave Rock. We saw the wave, which yeah. looks like a wave. So the wave. What did the fish say when it banged into a wall? Damn! <laughs> so Hippo's yawn, which was just a short walk from Wave Rock. Yeah, and you, you guys almost got gobbled <laughs> up by Hippo's yawn. It yarn, really did you? look like a Hippo's yawn. Yeah. yeah, they walked inside and out, which I thought that was pretty cool. That was probably my favourite of the It rocks. was cool. And then yeah. went to the lake where oh, you could, yeah. the salt lake. Yeah, the yeah. salt lake was pretty nice. Yeah. You could actually just float in it. Float. Yeah. Float in the in the salt lake. That yeah, was it awesome. was really buoyant. It's supposed to be as buoyant as the Dead Sea. More buoyant, I think. More buoyant. Yeah. <laughs> Very salty. down here to Bremer Bay. So part of the reason why we came here is because we met some friends on the trip and they were like, oh, if you go to Bremer Bay, make sure you do the killer whale tour. Yeah. I, we had no idea that you could do a killer whale tour in Australia. No, no I idea. Thought, we'll do that if we, <laughs> if we can. So Danny was like, of course, oh, bloody FOMO again. Got to do that. Yeah, I have to do it. So yeah. then we're like, all right, well, we're going to Bremer Bay then. Yeah. Kids under 10 can't do it because it gets pretty rough out there, but it was so good. I really wanted yeah. to see it. Yeah, next, next time. Because yeah. there's like killer whales or pilot whales, dolphins, albatrosses. It was and really good. And it was very bumpy. Yeah. It was super, super rough out there. And I was actually quietly happy that I didn't have to go because I get really seasick. So mm. the fact that the kids couldn't go meant that I didn't have to go either. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to spend eight hours there on a bumpy. But mm. it was, in saying that, Danny loved it. It was really good, really worth yeah. doing. Yeah. But it's only from January to April. Mm. So uh, we just yeah. snuck in. Just yeah. snuck in. So there's supposed to be a cyclone coming down the west coast, going which through, is going to be... Going through Kalbari and sort of north, of, a fair bit north of Perth, but we, we might get the tail end down in Albany, sort of Denmark. Yeah. So it's just, it's just going to be drizzly, rainy, and pretty windy, but... Yeah, so we're going to head tomorrow morning. We're going to head down to Albany, which is sort of heading further west, and down as well and it's supposed to be really nice there some good spots and then you got denmark elephant rocks greens pool which is a bit further around from albany but mm. so much to see around there yeah looking forward so to that. we're going to bring you guys with us we're going to see all of that and it should look awesome with this weather that we've having looking at the shore there should be amazing so let's do it yes oh, here we come Yay! albany here we yes! come let's go albany here we come <laughs> Right, we're on our way now. We've left Bremer Bay. Uh, the weather's turned a bit. It's um, getting cold and wet. And I think the uh, the cyclone off the west coast of WA is sort of coming down this way. I think. Yeah. A bit, so a bit of it anyway. So. It's... I woke everyone up early this morning. And I was like, we've got to get out of here because we didn't want really to be driving in the pouring rain or massive winds. I don't think they're expected to come until later, maybe even tomorrow. But regardless, we wanted to just get to the next stop. We're heading down to Albany. Albany. Yeah. yeah. So it might be we just booked into a caravan park because we did want to go free camping but we thought if the weather's going to be terrible then we're better off being in a caravan park. That's where we're off to. We're in Albany. Uh, do you say Albany or Albany? No idea. We still haven't worked that out. We think Albany would be a double L but who knows. Albany. Yep. Yeah. We've been here for a few days and it's basically been raining the whole time. So now the rain has cleared. It's still a bit wet, but we're going to go and start exploring. Mm. So what Albany, Albany has got to offer. Yeah. Bit windy, hey? Wild and windy. Oh. 
not raining, going. it's just mist. Yeah. We're kicking up from the, the coast. There is so much mist good reviews on it I think it's $70 for a family ticket and you get a free 40 minute tour and there's a wildlife park here too and they got a replica whaling ship and I don't know learn everything there is to know about whales yeah which yeah we Might don't know much at the moment yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's see This is really interesting. Whales are split into two groups. Some have teeth and some have this thing called baleen, which is like, you see this funky thing on its jaw? So instead of teeth, they have that because they can't drink seawater. They're like humans that they can't have seawater. It's crazy. What? So this is like a filter. All of the um, fish and stuff get stuck to it. And then the seawater is pushed back out of their mouth. That's crazy. This is a blubber and it can get up to 30 centimeters thick. The search is over. We've been searching for a white kangaroo around Australia. I think we were looking for white wallabies down in Brittany Island, weren't we? Yeah. Didn't see any of it. 
White kangaroo, just as good. Yeah. There's a white wallaby down there. busy uh, so we'll see how we go getting in but we'll go somewhere else if we can't get in there so it'll be fine yes. let's go let's go let's go Easy. Too easy. In the spot. Pretty tight little spot. We probably made it harder than what it should have been, but yeah, we could have gone on, a, on an angle, diagonal, but we decided to go straight back, which was a bit tougher. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, you live, you learn. Rookies. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it was going to clear up and the sun was coming out, but now I can see some more rain rolling in. Mm. Oh, well. oh well. We'll show you the spot and. And some rain. What's dad doing? Drying fishing. Is he going to get us some fish? Yeah. I don't know who she is. <laughs> Have fun in the rain, mate. Bye. Bring back plenty of beautiful. Yeah. Go buy the takeaway shop on the way out. you a story about the fishing from this morning and we're going to try and see if we can pop that. Just wait a sec. Right, we're heading down to Shelley Beach for the third time. Last time we went down there this morning, caught a couple of fish but they snapped off the line because we were amateurs and didn't know what we were doing. So now I've got the right bait, got the right hooks, the right rods, right tackle and I think we're good. So yeah. we should, should be catching them. And we're coming down to be little good luck, lucky charm. You're coming down for a laugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this morning. Oh, everyone was catching fish except us. I was like, well, we did catch two, but yeah, they both snapped off. Oh, the line snapped. Yeah. We didn't have enough drag on it or something. I don't know. And apparently these guys were in a spot and there were heaps of people catching fish further up. So when they left, these guys went to that spot 
and then they, there was nothing biting there and then the spot that they'd moved from everyone started catching it from there. Yeah. <laughs> so ba just... Yeah, basically we're hopeless. Myself. And I think a bit of bad luck as well. Bit of bad luck, bit of wrong gear and not knowing what to do. Yeah. But now we're going to catch them. Got some tips. They're sorted. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's get some dinner. Just watch this. Watch this space. Here we go. Fish spotters up there. Yeah. Gonna spot us some fish. <laughs> Caught anything? No, no luck so far. No luck. It's a left-handed reel, so you're right. I think no matter if it's left-handed or right-handed, I wouldn't have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me. Makes two of us. There they are, somewhere there. Just the wave, no fish. Don't get excited. You'll feel it. That's algae, that water, and that's the water that's going into the, the, there. And if that goes into there, seagulls drink, get fish from there, and fish will die. And seagulls will die because they go in water that will make it go around there and back up to there. Okay, all right. Shelly Beach, you can't miss out, we missed out again. Though to be fair, not many people will catch it any, so I don't think it was just me. Yeah. Or just me and Matt. So you yeah, have to no retire. Luck. You have to retire. <laughs> retire early. Enough. <laughs> Hang up the rod. Yeah. Three days of trying. It only took us three days, but not easy. Nice. He'll feed us. Nice for a while. work, Danny. He'll feed us. The fishermen have come back. Success! Some fish! Fishing! Woo! Success! We caught some well, we fishing done. To put them first. Finally. Don't have to fish now. <laughs> Oh, you got so many, we need to find somewhere to put them. Yeah. <laughs> How many did you get? Well, four or five. five. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Oh, they don't really fit in the bucket, do they? Oh. They're massive. She's going to drop it. <laughs> Australian salmon. Whoa. <laughs> I, I love Australian salmon. Yeah, you like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Yay. Yay. Well, the other Mine is the first time. Come on, Yay. let's go to the tent Yay. now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's more gooey and nice. Oh. oh, that's nice and clean. That's good. What's going on here, mate? Hey, hey. We're, um, with the, all the fish that they caught, well, we decided we'll do fish and chips. Classic. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong, hopefully. <laughs> So I'm doing all the chips, just heaps of chips in the Weber, and our friends are doing the fish. Actually, I'll give you the recipe because it sounds really cool. It's like Soda Stream. 
They're using soda stream in it. There's no eggs. Anyway, I'll give you the recipe and we'll see how it tastes. But I'm doing the chips. Pretty simple. Do you want to have a little peek? Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Yep. Looking forward to that dinner. And the kids in the tent. Mm -hmm. What's going on, kids? Hey! <laughs> Yay. Yay. Yummy! Fish and some burnt chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, I got me first bit of sand. I told you, the big one's got sand. <laughs> <laughs> We're off from Cozy Corner. Off from Cozy Corner, mate. And, uh, yeah, we're heading off. It was really nice here. Yeah. Price is right. Price is very right. So it's pretty hard to leave when it's free, but yeah. Yeah, time to move on, I think. Yeah. Chase the warm weather. Yeah, exactly. Been here long enough, and we're going to just try and get out of here. It'll be a bit of a tight spot. I'm in the driver's seat to get us out of this, so I'm just surveying. Uh, might not be too bad as long as we clear that pole there. I think we'll be right. Just don't eat that or that. <laughs> Ready to go, guys? Yep. Right out, off the tree. Aww. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Righto. Let me go out. I got this stir in the sun. Let me go out. Big hands, I know you're the one. Okay, guys, so that was our first episode and it was part one there is a part two we just had heaps of content so we thought we'll split it in half for you please please subscribe like comments let us know if we're still tracking well down in the comments we really love those feedbacks and tune in for part two to come very shortly cheers